Okie dokie. I'm going to start this off by saying I am fed up with this fight. Uh, hi everybody. It's Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. We currently have to fight a demon by the name of Kormazara or something like that. Korzmada? Who knows. Point is, I, uh, the other day I streamed this game. And tried to do this fight multiple times. And I got very aggravated. I so aggravated to the point that I had to stop playing. So <laughs> I was uh, I was very on the verge of ripping out my own teeth. Apparently, I don't know. That was the first thing that came to mind when I got very upset for some reason. Like just reach in your mouth and pull out your teeth. Like just grab your fucking teeth, boy. You know. No, that's that's something I don't want to do. Obviously, I didn't you know try or anything. I'm not fucking stupid. But um, I was getting to the point where I was gonna start like smashing something. Like I, I was sitting, it was my hand. I was, I was starting to like bang my mic. I was, I was done, right? I was, I was just done. Um, we're going to try this fight maybe three times, and then if I can't beat it, then we'll lower the difficulty of setting. Cause I think, um, yeah, we're kind of normal, so we can keep this casual. You know, oh, it's casual, and then we'll go to the story of it. I still, for some reason, cannot do this fight. I don't know. I genuinely don't think... I mean, that's that. I can just stop the sentence right there. Um, I don't... I genuinely don't think... Yeah, that's, that's fair. Um... But, um... I'm gonna go sneak in. You're basically right. We have to fight these two guys and then a bunch of other little demons. And the issue is, if you a, don't take care of the little demons fast, what happens is they get around you and they get attack of opportunity bonuses. Nope. Now yeah, we just lost a round. They made it worse. Genuinely made it worse. Okay. They we're not frightened, which is a good thing. Yeah, but they, 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 the help here is pointless. The demons are really fucking powerful for being on the normal difficulty mode. Like, genuinely, I don't know why they're so fucking strong. Um, You've crossed the wrong I think they may have not balanced this fight to the same rate, or maybe maybe I'm just severely underpowered, and that's just the fact of life. Yeah, maybe that's the case, but there's no way for me to know. Great, our skin was seized by customs. Yeah, and he also, that's right. So his, uh, his demon, right, that demon, he, uh, you know, has the ability to, um, just one-shot nine, uh, four out of the five party members. He does something like 400 damage in a fucking turn. It's insane. Genuinely, I don't know what the fuck's the, the problem with that demon. I don't know who thought there was a decent move that he could deal 300 to 400 damage in a turn. Um... And I genuinely hope whoever did uh, fucking suffers for the rest of their miserable life. Uh, it, it is insane. It's stupid. It just it's fucking garbage. Like genuinely, I don't know who thought it was a good idea. Uh, I'm not sneaking, am I? Tell enough most of the demons ran away. I don't know thought giving him that much health was a good idea. There's just so much fucking shit that's going on here. That it's just not a good idea. You won't survive me. Like this torturer is fucking powerful. That's a fucking super powerful demon. 
The uh, Babus are actually a threat because of how many how many of them there are. As well as oh cool look he's just dead. Uh you. I'm gonna get you. This is a legitimate combat tactic. Anybody said otherwise is, uh, to be fair, they're probably right. Um, however, comma, like I said, I've done this, four, this fight four or five times already. I'm sick and tired of this fucking character. I wish him nothing but pain and suffering. And I, uh, kind of just want him to super die. And. One of these demons is not manageable. Two of them makes it worse. Right, because the Balor is already a fucking powerful demon, but this guy's just got extra shit on him, and I don't have to fucking validate myself to you people. <laughs> uh... I'll send my jokes aside, I don't know. There's, there really is no way for me to beat him in a legitimate manner, as far as I'm aware. Like, maybe I've just... Purposely, well, not purposely, but maybe I have um, very poorly. Uh, no, that's not what I'm doing. It's the opposite of that. But um, essentially, uh, this guy is just a fucking major pain in the dick. Why didn't I get my full round? Like he's got a skin ruptured or something? The skin has been seized. I will resist. Disappear. Are they chasing the hand of the inheritor? Or what are they doing over there? Mm, they're attacking Lariel. Lariel, Lariel, Lariel. And then nothing. Good. Your performance is lacking. You are lacking. Can you even do anything else? I don't... It 
It's your time to cease to exist. Oh, I'm stunned. Every strike counts. Please don't. Just don't and kill Ember. Victory is worth the pain. I genuinely think that is the best it could have gone, even with how poorly it went. But to be honest, uh, it was so close to. I do wish we could get fucking closer. Like, it, it makes no reason, no, no sense that I would just stop there and let these idiots wander up, because they're all fucking terrible. Genuinely, they don't know what they're doing. Because also, three of these fucking Babus can one-shot fucking Inheritor. Like they give they give the uh, enemies way too much CC. I think it's probably the issue. That's good. Please all group up. Thank you. Oh, I don't like the dinosaurs so slow. That's also part of the issue is that he has such a fucking high AC that you know you can't really do much against him. It's really fun. Couldn't just chain him anyway, could you game? Uh
cool. Uh, I can't ranged heal. We're not close enough to get both of them, so let's just get the one who's going to AoE spells in a second. Okay, now that he's down. fucking threat, so let's go for... The thing is, the other one will re-up once he goes down. So the the super this guy is one of those special demons that you guys saw at the beginning of the game that they said there would be no more of, but there still are some floating around. And, um, essentially, he's just going to get back up, and you have to fight him twice, which is so much fun. Fun for the whole family. And, uh, simply put, it's not fun for any of the family. Okay. I didn't move any of the other move- God, fuck you, game! Fuck you, I didn't do any of the other movement. Injuries, he's paralyzed for six seconds. Okay, we have that on him, we have this on him. Oh, that's good. That's gonna fucking really eat up his strength. Okay. Oh, well, Burn, you're not going to do that again? Of course I am. He cheats, I get to cheat. It's that simple. I don't know if this will affect him once he gets up. We'll find out. Because it's going to be movement over that spot, so you know. Okay. Ember's turn is over. Everybody, please make your way to the giant fucking floor demon. You want to probably make your way towards Ember. <laughs> Get yourself a nice heal if you can. Uh, I'm getting 30 feet to that guy. Yes. 
I think you took a lot of damage from it, so. You're in my way. If nothing else, there was that. Desna, guide my head. I mean, he's nearly dead already again, so yeah. Okay. This has probably been the best fucking outcome. You won't survive me. We're gonna have to resurrect Graybor, but. Uh, Graybor, uh, Regil. But, um. Now we can't hit him for some reason. Okay. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, buddy. Enjoy the uh, floor traps. And then have some hellfire. And they all fucking missed. And then we all missed again. Is the hand dead again? Yeah. I think it's gonna end up having to be... Yeah, I think what we're gonna do is just cheese our way through it. Or do I have a spell that will kill Hatchet? Um... You know what? I'm not gonna rest anyway. It didn't affect him. Even though it should have, because he's sure he's evil and an outsider, but you know. Oh, hey, Rayla. A dear guest on my doorstep. Please do come in. You have been long awaited. Nothing at all. There will be no more games, trust me. And I definitely won't run. There is too much at stake. Do you want a better? But that's a pretty fucking hot model. <laughs> the path to your souls and the world wounds healing demands my death. The accursed threshold prison where everything began must be where everything comes to an end. So I invite you in once again. Cross this threshold. I'll be waiting for you in the heart of the fortress, in the place where the wound was opened. Nice, uh, nice shot. Is that important, or was is that intentional or accidental? Is it? Is it just me? Oh, it's one of those things. Where it's um we're all outside the area. There it is. The heart of the wound. The source of all the evil that has been wrought here over the last hundred years. It all began here. And we will end it here. If a Rilu Borlesh had never opened the world wound, I would never have ended up on Galarian. I would never have met Desna. Or you. I would never have embarked on the path of good. world isn't there. Thousands of innocent mortals perished during this invasion. It was also the catalyst for one demoness's discovery of goodness and love. This may merely be a quirk of fate, but it means that our happiness together has come at a horrifying cost. Today, we will repay but a fraction of that debt. We will close this abomination so that no one else has to die. I think that's a little bit of overstatement about what our co the cost of our romance has been. I know. I actually pity them. If only I could have shown them what I feel. If only I could have shared this goodness, this tenderness with them. I'm sure they would have started on the same path as I have. But if helping them to change is beyond my abilities, then I will have to do battle against them. I will let no one threaten you and our happiness. No one. I did not do it alone. You have led your army to victory and me to my dream. It's not about guilt. It's just that I am ashamed to take any joy in my freedom, knowing that this terrible war was the cause of it. Everyone would have been 
better off if the world wound had never been opened. But then I would have remained a monster. Perhaps one day I will atone for all the evil I did. But it took a far greater evil to make my redemption even possible. You know what? <laughs> Let's get everybody's story. Might as well, you know. I would have loved to rest and, you know, got rid of this, uh... Well, are we gonna stick it to the demons one last time? I don't know yet. I'll probably go back to being a knight errant, going wherever the road takes me, helping folk where I can. But let's win first, and we can talk about that later. Back at you, friend. So, are we gonna crush some demons? It's time to show them the door once and for all! Yeah, she that wasn't really a big part of her movie. Land, though, my main man, Land, coming from the underground. You know what's crazy? I never thought this moment would come so soon. It feels like only yesterday we were trying to bring a blazing Canabras under control, and now we're standing on the cusp of our last battle. We got that fucking achievement, though. This isn't how I imagined it. I thought I'd be running happily toward death and trying to do something particularly heroic so I could go out in style. But now, I'm thinking about how we have to win and go back to Dresden because there's so much work still to do there. You're not gonna die. Me too. You've got a whole army behind you and we're all ready to win. If we fail now, when we've got this far, then that means the Crusades were always doomed to fail. We've been going easy on these demons for too long, don't you think? It's time to show them one last time what Galarians are capable of. <laughs> easy. Been going easy on them, he says. Let's see, we got Sossel, another guy we didn't really hang out with a lot. Why can't we go talk to him? Sossel. There it is. The Citadel, the Demon Army. You know, I expected it to be formidable and fearsome. Something that would make me quake in terror. But now that I am standing at its gates, I'm surprised at how little fear I feel. <laughs> Do not mistake this for bravado. Our enemies are dangerous, but no more than that. We have traveled to the heart of the abyss and back again. Now we are home on our own territory. This time, let it be the invaders who quake in terror. I regret that Trevor did not live to see this battle. But that means that today I will be fighting for myself and for him. For everyone who did not live to see our victory. I wonder how it plays when you get him. Because you can, you can get Trevor. He, he can live. I will go home to Endoran. I will lay down my weapon and never pick up another so long as I live. Save a knife for cutting grapevines. I will serve the goddess in our old temple. And when the peasant children come to pepper me with questions about the crusade, I will do my utmost to make sure that my stories give none the idea that there is anything beautiful or romantic about war. I had to. If I had a choice, I probably would have stayed the same naive little boy I was before the war. A boy who had never killed, who had never been to the abyss, who had never buried those with whom he had sat around a campfire only the night before. Even so, when I set out to join this war, my head was full of so many romantic notions, more than usual for a naive little boy. But life found a way to shatter those most thoroughly. Mm. Pride is known as a mortal sin for good reason. It was pride that propelled my brother to join the crusade in search of glory. And look how that ended. No, I am not here to make anyone proud. I only want one thing. For this nightmare, after 100 I'm still thinking years, about, uh, Arshula. <laughs> Uh, let's talk to the characters we actually played with now. Uh, you know, we for Nenio to die in the fucking. Not a bad spot to end this war. Formidable, menacing. It has a certain style about it. Seeing 
as our contract is coming to an end, Commander, let me just say that you are the most impressive client I've ever had the pleasure to work with. And a highly lucrative pleasure it's been, too. Of course not. Where else would I have had so many adventures? Besides, it's thanks to you that I've been able to add so many accomplishments to my service record, which will boost my rates in the future. You know, it's jobs like this, the ones that are both fun and pay well, that make me love what I do. Like, um, you know, just puts on his fucking record that he helped kill Baphomet and fucking Descari. Huh. Well, it sure wasn't in the name of Iomade. Of course, money's not the be-all and end-all. You dimwits need someone with a clear head on your side. Someone to watch your back. Hey. I know how you hero types love sacrificing yourselves at the drop of a hat. Uh, then he's but his mouth breaks a smile despite his effort. Now you're talking. Why don't you show me who it is we need to kill to win this war? A Relu Vorlesh? I'll wish that lady sweet dreams with unalloyed pleasure. This is it. The last fortress. It's been a long road from the river city to here. We walked and walked and walked along the road. And suddenly, there's no more road. Nobody is ready. It will be scary. Very scary. In the last fortress, all the lies will end. And the truth will rise. It's scary. But it's good. Ow. Nobody knows what will happen next. People are afraid of the future, so that's why they make it up. They lie to themselves so it's not so scary. They convince themselves and others of the things they make up. But one day the future will come. Well, ends. technically no not true, worse. but you know. Whenever it's always the present. Happened, the future never comes. Crow looks at you with a clever black beak and caws loudly. Uh, the artifact created by the years of hard work serving to Polaria and the efforts of the finest spellcasters of the Crusades glows in mysterious light. The starlit astrolabe seems to be looking forward to an hour when it can release the power. Thanks for the shot of that again. What the, the is Cosmorata's body still over there? It is it. Am I hitting the right button here? I am. I don't know why it's um. I don't think the, the keyboard is working exactly as I want it to. Because normally, no, I think I'm hitting the wrong button actually. Am I? I don't know. No, it 100% it was. Can I rest? Cause I, cause I cannot rest here, but you know. I can't believe I survived to see this day. So many warriors dead who were braver than me, more worthy than me. It is time to exact revenge for all of them. This century-long nightmare seemed endless, but today we will end it forever. You're so good at toppling fortresses by now, you can almost keep time by it. <laughs> the Grey Garrison, Dresden, and now Threshold. 
So are we coming up on noon or midnight on the commander clock? Doesn't matter. The bards can settle that one. It's the hour of your trial. Oh, do you mean like victory or loss? I mean. We've waited so long. Nah, I don't really care much about the story about much more than, you know. How bad of you? The final man is hardly what you need when storming a fortress. I will stay here among the soldiers guarding the gates and invited guests. And see any artifacts whose nature you wish to know. Bring them to me and I'll read their stories. My gifts are useless here. Stories need to be written. Call in your hands, Commander. Oh, the Sword of Valor is here. Can I fucking rest, please? Our path leads on. Why, why bring the fucking stupid little thing if I can't even rest? It feels like I should be able to get my rest in so I can, you know, do one final rest before the game fucking ends, but no spell slots for me, I guess. Lol. Uh, do I have my restoration still? No, that's heal. You bet I don't. But, jokes on you, game. I have a couple spell scrolls. Looks like there's good hope. Uh, this is need a lesser restoration. Restoration greater than lesser. There we go. The rest of stuff can be uh, dealt with eventually. Maybe we just summon the uh, fucking power of the Aurora. I don't need any of this loot. At the gate of the threshold, the darkness is dense and vicious, like a brew in a cauldron. The darkness seems to devour all light pouring in from outside. But the danger lies not only within. The companions you don't take into the final battle will remain here to guard the approach of the threshold. They must be ready to fight as well. For a moment you think you can see the blurred silhouettes inside, but then you realize what it is uh, your eyes playing uh, that it was just your eyes playing tricks on you. Whatever is lurking in the darkness, it now lies a low waiting. I'm gonna make sure to you know I'll drop a hard save here just as well, just in case. I wonder if it's going to make me use them to fight if I leave them out here, or... I would love to do a rest game. You know, arrest me please, sir, I'd like to go to jail. But... I don't see any way that I could... Unless I maybe if talking to one of these guys, they'd heal me. Something. I don't particularly care what they have to say for the most part. It was most of my party I was interested in talking to. Uh... Oh, beautiful. See? I was right. Shame it probably won't remove the death door condition, but you know, what are you going to do? Okay. Can I have my control? Control, please! I'd like control over my life! Oh, wait, no, that's, that's unrealistic. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. Okay, enter the fortress. I am fine with my party, except for the dead Regil, who is dead. Uh, do I even have a raised dead on me? Or should I just leave him behind? Uh, there we go. I'm not really planning on. <laughs> Together we stand. Greetings. Allow me to congratulate you on leading the armies of the Fifth Crusade to its decisive confrontation. Excellent. At last, a real achievement and a genuine chance of victory. I suppose I am. Being happy is not in my nature, but for the first time in years, I feel something akin to that emotion. 
would be interesting to analyze what I experience when I see a criminal awaiting Vormesh defeated, the demons ousted, and the world wound closed at last. It promises to be an exceptional moment. Bernard right of Contemplation appears in Reddle's voice. Thank you for your high estimation of my abilities. It's been an honor to watch inside a complete loser like you. Your achievements as a commander and as a comrade. I am always ready. Do not falter. Okay. Um, I don't really think swapping any of their out is gonna be overly useful to be honest. Sila is complete hot garbage and I it's also is basically the same. The issue is that I haven't uh, given them any good equipment either, so I don't know if if we had to do a fight with them outside. I'm fucked. <laughs> Music is just the two of them out there, really, and uh, we. Sh it's been shown that the uh, other two, or the other uh, the side characters are worse than anything that they could be. Somehow. Hear sound of laughter, and the lady in shadow begins to speak. You do not disappoint, my chosen. Your performance has been flawless. I hope you continue to impress me, and that you will do what needs to be done in the end. Sure, whatever makes you feel better about yourself. Isn't, the same, isn't it customary among mortals for a, low, a noble lady to bless her knight before the final battle? Well, why can I not do the same? Better than anyone, and yet... Not well enough. You are about to confront the most lethal, powerful, and capable servant I've ever had. She is unmatched in her abilities, but you are her creation, her masterpiece. You are the only one who stands a chance of stopping her. The creation must surpass the creator. Why? Are you, do uh, you are doing perfectly well on your own. Everything is going exactly as I had hoped. In the past, you've rejected my profane gift. The situation is different now. You face the dangerous enemy. You will need all the help you can get, so for the first time in many ages of my existence, I will offer my patroness a second time. You spurned me once, but now I'll ask again. You set my power, I'll protect you during your fight against Ariel of Orlesh. If you refuse, you will face her alone, and die. What will you choose? Uh, fuck off, demon! Get shit on, bitch! Uh, you will regret your decision. In your moment of defeat, you will remember the victory that could have been yours. But your keen insight pleases me. You are defiant, headstrong, and driven, just like me. I do not yield to much power. Uh, yield to the power of others. I refuse to give up my independence. And it seems you are the same. We have so much in common. Is it possible that you you are more deserving of my gift than the obedient servants who subjugate themselves to my will? Yes. I think I'll give you my gift after all. I have woven this wreath from the darkest, most insidious shadows of the abyss. Where is a sign of my respect? She falls silent, but then you hear a pure, clear voice. The honorable, the voice of Iomide. Her words resound in your ears like a roll, a roll of thunder. Solvin, you have remained as resolute against the entices of Lady in Shadow. You rejected the temptations of the demonic power within you. You have remained true and loyal to the crusade. You have accepted no gifts or favors from any of the demon rulers. I, Iomide, the inheritor, bless you before the battle. I demand no vows and impose no oaths. They are not necessary. Our beliefs are one. And so are our reasons to fight. I have given you my blade, and I'll grant you my power. May you strike down your foes without pity. Yeah, oh fuck yeah, I'll take a god's fucking sword. Plus it's a long sword. It does 14 to 20. It's somehow worse. <laughs> somehow worse. Can't have them both. Uh, 2d6. And this one does... I mean, it's, it just, it has like a, oh, look at that, it's a killing blow, all allies in the game, game, plus one plus attack rolls for three rounds, wow, um, yeah, Iomide, how is your sword worse than this sword? How does a god give you a sword that is worse 
than a sword that you already have. That you got from, I think, Polaria. So it's a different god, but still. Almaday is like the main goddess at the moment. She's all the shit. Everybody wants to be a part of her council. Council, she's great, okay? I love Almaday. Great god. Goddess, I don't care. It doesn't make a difference. Genuinely. Are you going to fight me, or are you guys just going to stand Defeat there? Is not an option. I feel like I'm missing spells on my spell slots. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Wow. That was a turn. Of, it's just an insane amount of damage. Like how she somehow hits better when it, she's in combat, even though that's supposed to. Well, I think um actually, she's got the bonus, which means that she doesn't receive penalties when you know in combat. But still, why did all those skeletons just there? Come here. Come here, buddy. And you need some heals. She's missing one of the, um... Heals, right? I don't understand why sometimes some of the spells disappear. Uh, you also would probably deserve one. of our stream. Bad habits of just picking up crap. It's just kind of something I do now. <laughs> just pick up so much fucking garbage. Fill my inventory with that shit. Look at that. Can't really. <laughs> I was trying to just get a better shot of like the spinning vortex. Uh, that's kind of a little bit baby. I'm not doing through locust swarms. Wait, it's actually kind of convenient. We can charge the same. Go, skeletons, go! Ironically, they actually are very useful at the beginning of the game. Um, the other. The like time I've played, so I, I as I said over the couple a number of times, um, I had a secondary. I haven't actually played that other, like, you know, a save in a while. But um, I had another save where I was playing the Necromancer just to test out some of the uh, other game mechanics. Um, specifically that annoying as fuck uh, <laughs> the army mechanics. See what I get like you know a better grip on them. Um, what I learned is that the uh, Necromancer is actually very, very broken when it comes to army stuff. 
I uh, don't know if it's the best, because I haven't tried the other classes, or the other uh, ascension routes, or whatever the fuck you want to call them. But, um... She's very good, really. She's very good. Simply business. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Wow. Is not an good. So we're really gonna let him get another turn. Why does Reggie keep taking damage whenever he hits something? Come here, honey. My girl. My girl. Talking about my girl. Xarxes, rip this mortal apart. Bath will pay me handsomely for his head. I, have reg I regret having to kill you, but I will listen to, listen to my mother. Oh, it's the fucking kid! It's the woman and the kid! Why? What happened? What's going on here? Why is everything showing us red? Is this a bug, or is this... Nope, now he's acting on his own. Hmm. That's the thing. Wow. Wow, what the fuck did he just do? <sighs> Sometimes, man. Some fucking times. Oh yeah, here's a spell that just fucking kills you instantly. Alright, here's an attack that just you just die. The game doesn't even fucking the game doesn't understand what's happened, because you know.
that again. This time with Geth dude. Oh, I didn't even see what the fucking. You've crossed the wrong I actually line. picked the wrong person to attack that. You won't survive me. I will resist. Okay, well, apparently it was bugged before. <laughs> Bugs. <laughs> fucking hell. I deserve every fucking death I'm going to receive. I was close. Hoping she get her full turn, but you know. Make every strike count. Prepare yourself. I killed Valor. Wow. Really going hard in the character you can't fucking see, but you know. Yes, kid. Why is she in a different spot than she was last time? immune to it or something. Retreat was a flaw in our tactics. I was say, why is Regal fucking not oh. <laughs> so I get complaining. I was gonna say why is Regal not You fucking son of a
not by time yet. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Shooting the fucking kid now. I'm so glad. I mean, the kid deserved it really, but you know. Now we gotta kill him. The kid must die. Even though I was gonna let him live. I feel like, you know, if you didn't get the last, your mom's dead, kid. You don't listen to her anymore. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're good. You don't listen to her, she's dead. The spell I have. So, 200 damage. Pretty good, I guess. I mean, I don't like it as a fucking fail of saving throw because, you know, saving, demons don't play fucking fair in the fucking slightest. Garbage the long sword. I could have a shitty set of punching daggers and a, just a. The set of leather armor? Oh, plus four leather armor, even though it just says leather armor on it, you know. You know. Should wait, let's get those potions. For no other reason than I can. Kids curious here, so it is not bad. Nothing in there? Nothing in the random hole? I'm gonna let them fight each other. I'm guessing either she died or they stopped. I will defend my dream. Endure this. Kind of hoping they wouldn't uh, bother walk. They they wouldn't get involved. Make every strike count. Kneel before like training. The other option was this, that, you know, they'd just walk over to me and I'll get full turns of, full rounds of attack on them. Yeah, I don't know why this demon killed the other one, but you know. I don't really complain. Prepare yourself. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Kinda wish he'd just stop casting spells though. Simply business. It's your time to cease to exist. We shall overcome. Oh, I'm sickened. Uh, nope. Surrender this else. stuck. Desna, guide my hand. I mean, I'm still doing 17 damage, which apparently is more than most of these fuckers can deal anyway, so, you know. Doesn't help that I'm pretty sure he's a heal. There we go, Leon.
I feel like it's only Regal taking damage or hitting demons for some reason. Is it his, is his weapon dealing damage to him again? Did I give him one of those stupid ones? What the f- <laughs> Why is Ember slowly gliding backwards? Make your peace. The fuck was that? Oh, the tsunami spell. Right, that's what that tsunami was. I don't know why he got to cast two spells in one turn, but you know. So I don't know why Regil is now completely incapable of hitting anything. Oh, cool. Critical hits from enemies, that's fun. I mean, I know, you know, look at the dice and all that, but still... Could just not roll that game. <laughs> Could've been cool. Crushing Burden. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there we go. 2d6 to the damage to the opponent, 1d6 to the ruler. Fine, whatever, I don't care. Hey, bitch, look at me. Fight me. I got whole health in the world. You literally couldn't kill me. He's gonna try, though. <laughs> I guess I, uh, should have been a little less, you know, taunting. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. <laughs> this Did you mine. see that? <laughs> My finest work. Why bother putting a trap in a room that I can't fucking dis disarm before I have to fight the entire uh, room of enemies? I know why you did it, but it doesn't make it any less cool. You did it to be an asshole. You did it to be a jerk game. Don't, don't lie to me. Oh, this is a trap of the middle of this room. Do I disarm it? You gotta walk through the enemies. And, uh, knowing the character's pathings, they'll probably walk into that trap. You're fucked. You are fucked. Just give in. Walk on it. See what it does. See what it does. Come. Step on my trap. Step on my trap. Put ready. your fucking foot in my trap, trap, trap. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that kick cup bar. I'll oh, create two more of them. Oh my god. Why is it this is the same fucking fight over and over with one more enemy? That's it. Why? This is not fun game. I'm not having fun. Let me have fun. I want to kill Aria Lu. Why did he only do one attack? Why did she? Don't, don't fix what was broken in my favor. Oh, not a fucking sucky biz. Not a sucky bitch. There's only room enough for one sucky bitch in my life, and it's fucking my poor, perfect girl. See? Perfect. Nearly perfect. Still alive. Should have taken care of her first, but you know. I also shouldn't have wasted that first attack on the lower health demon, but you know. Why 
Why is he healing so fucking much? Stop it! Also, not sh I swear to god, if he fucking kills me... Fuck you. If this fucking son of a bitch executioner murders my ass because I'm on the ground and fucking got a little bit of health, I'm gonna be so angry. Cause that's what they like. That's what they like to do, right? Okay, good. At least you know, not super fucking dead. You're in my way. So they'll, do, they'll they'll like lower you to the ground, right? And then you'll heal a little bit because you've got the fucking sword here. And then because the sword's here and you've healed a little bit, the enemy goes, well, I'm right next to you, and you can't get up, so I'm gonna just kill you now, and you're like, what? And it's like, yeah, yeah, you're dead. And like, what? And you know, you just die. You just fucking die. Whew. <sighs> I think that's unmuted. I, uh, I, I don't know what's going on. Why are we suddenly fighting underwater? <laughs> oh, come on, my girl. Just hit him once. or something. It's really fucking jarring to have the game be this silent. Stop! God fucking... Stop with this fucking nonsense. I don't want to have to deal with you killing my... Like... Oh, uh, push back and enjoy two turns of not fucking being able to do anything. Like, why is this guy cast, cast fucking two, two fucking turn, two things a turn, and, you know. He's just full of shit. He's just a cheater. He's just a cheater, cheater. Had a wife, but couldn't keep her. Got, ate some seeds, but I don't remember the fucking. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Had a wife, but couldn't keep her. Something, 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 I don't know. Like, I think elementary school is the last time I've heard Cheater Cheater Pumpkin Eater used in a non-ironic way. Or even at all, really. Just bring it back. It's definitely the, the saying of the new century. Oh, cool. Now I've got two dead characters to deal with. Lucky me, I've fucking been stocking up on Diamond Dust. And that Ember has like a million raised deads. I mean, it's ready to feel like we definitely bring enough fucking healing. Oh, there we go. I think it's uh, stuck on top of something. My camera. Excellent. 
Most righteous, bro. God, I'm getting tired again. It's only 10:30. Can't hide from me. Cool. I'm so glad Graybor didn't take my halt command and just ran straight over the fucking trap. Working's a lot of work. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Very funny is if, um. Who the fuck is. Integrity compromised, planar balance factor displaced, maintain the structure, and any cost, maintain the structure. Covering pile of metal bar bears little resemblance to a living creature. I guess he's a. What the fuck is this guy? This is a completely new model I've never fucking seen. Uh, the voice that addresses you is the only sign of its sentience. Identification process complete. Crusaders recognized. Crusaders are enemies of Ariel of Orlish. Initiating protocol. Communicating with potential ally. Step one, a request. Crusader, I ask you kill, uh, attack and kill me. Name, Imazelin. Creature type, ine uh, inevitable. Status, prisoner. Objective, termination. Necessity. My existence sustains the energies uh, and the integrity of the Threshold Fortress. Threshold Fortress projects Ariel of Orlash. Conclusion. My existence sustains the enemy of order. My existence must be terminated. Are you a, um... One of those things that you, uh, that, that maintain balance. I don't know what they're called. The, it's one of the paths you can go as, like, an arbitrator, whatever the fuck they're called. Where you, like, maintain perfect balance and remove things that aren't supposed to be. Obstacle. Existing protocol. Self-destruction is prohibited. Self-defense is permitted. If you attack me, you will activate myself against protocol. I will defend myself. I will be destroyed in battle. Scenario fulfills the objective and does not contradict existing protocols. Conclusion. Crusaders are needed to, need to reach the most secure areas of the Threshold Fortress. My death will cause the collapse of Threshold's defenses. Therefore, the Crusaders must turn in my existence in order to achieve their objective. Risk assessment. My death may cause some of the fortress's exterior structures to collapse. It may become difficult to return to the entrance of the fortress. Another day on. Chaos will prevail. The defense and load-bearing magical structure that stay in the integrity of the threshold will be destroyed. There's a high risk the fortress's exterior walls and gates will collapse. However, my death will also destroy the defense in the, uh, around the heart of the threshold where our divorce is situated. The heart of the th uh, thresh... That was weird. Uh, threshold is the heart of the world wound. The location is currently inaccessible to Crusaders. Therefore, the Crusaders require my termination. I await your return. Do not delay. I wonder if I can just get through without killing him. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, if I have to kill him, so be it. But the very idea that I could never return to the entrance doesn't exactly seem like a good thing. Right? I want to secure a way out for me and my friends. But it seems actually that there might be the end of it. This might be on the trail. Because that's nothing, right? Um, I don't think this is anything. That's gonna be nothing. I don't know what he means by he is inevitable. I mean, as far as I'm aware, that's the only way to go. It's here. Uh, I was on deep reconnaissance mission when I was sent to the Axumites. Uh, I was sent by the Axumites of the Axis. Ah, Space Hitler. Uh, <laughs> playing out of sphere is the universal law unmarred by the structures between good and evil. It shapes the shape of a gigantic city. Exists in a shining example of perfect order and harmony, rising out the churning maelstrom. Rising out of the churning maelstrom. Within the plain's golden barrier walls, the streets are perfectly ordered and clean. The buildings appear as paragons of their respective architectural styles from visually, virtually every culture within the great beyond. And the names strive to lick, li live in orchard harmony, like natives. It, to investigate a strange new disturbance in the Threshold Fortress, but it was captured by Erlu Vorlash and her demonic allies. Since then, I have remained both her prisoner and her test subject. 
Inevitable's essence is used to stabilize the structure that could sustain the Threshold Fortress. Uh, load bearing mental structure enabled the bird loads existence. There is the fortress the most salient part of the wound, the only part that is minimally affected by the principal chaos of the abyss. This paradox should not lead to confusion. The special fortress remains a state of quiescence. Uh, quiescence? Quiescence? I think like I know this word, but I can't pronounce it. Like quiescence? Quiescential? Like like quiescential? Quiescence? I don't fucking know. This is not a natural state. She, the Ariel voice uses external sources of power to prevent its destabilization. This purpose I will unwittingly serve. I am the power so necessary to sustain the special fortress. Uh, Wound is an artificially created planar rift. It's an inter intersection between the material plane and the uh, plane of the abyss. Wound allows the demons to travel freely from the abyss to the Galerion. Yes, we know this. Uh, existence is only made possible as a result of criminal acts of Arlo Vorash. On two occasions, she continued, conducted a ritual to bind a mortal soul, one with the essence of the abyss, and the one with the demonic soul. The, so, uh, and once with, the, uh, once with the essence of the abyss, me, and once with the demonic soul, her. The soul binding ritual acts as a framework for the intersection of the planes. If this ritual is reversed, the soul will be severed from its bond, and the material plane was severed from the abyss. This process would likely result in the termination of the bonded soul. Uh, prognosis for its owner's survival unfavorable. Point three: World wound is unprecedented violation of world order. Powerful weapon of chaos. 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 Uh. Formerly a mortal woman, now half demon, in possession of mythic powers, threatened the level comparable to demon lords. Psychological profile extremely unstable. Her capacity for deep analysis and understanding coexists with a pro uh, predisposition for two manias and fixations. Is an enemy of order and must be subject to termination. Uh, one second. Let me let me save. I guess. I want to save. I don't want to kill him. Prognosis is unfavorable. This chance of liberation is non-existent. Current situation has been identified. The last opportunity to have sex for our outcome. Termination of my existence. Initiating protocol extreme measures. The warp metal is silent for a moment and then launches itself against the bar of the cage. I won't let you hurt my yeah, so he is an Aeon. Make every strike count. Can I even fucking hit him? He's not even evil or anything, he's just lawful neutral. Jeez Louise, buddy. Stop at the criticals. Tower is chaotic. Yeah, we don't. He's not chaotic. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. We still have. Uh, no, we don't. Fuck it. Legitimate tactics. Ahoy! No. Just fall down already. not falling. Statistically, you should fall eventually. Realistically, I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm sorry.
8 plus 24, the DC is 23, he literally couldn't fail. Yeah, let's overcome his spell resistance. Okay, you know what? At least we land some hits. This is fun. Do you happen to have... I don't think I picked... Or well, I don't think the game picked it. Uh, oh. Why has... Uh... It's not undead. No, major healing, no, fortune, no. There is one that, like, immune. Immune! Do not hold back. Simply business. Lucky for Rizzle, he didn't die again. Good enough. Good enough. Oh, it's uh, her laboratory again. Here's the guy who's going for. I, there was a paper I was gonna pick up in that room with the uh, Balor and the mother and son. We forgot about that. Uh, the words I promise are written repeatedly in the margins. Shards of several dozen large diamonds they appear to have been used in unsuccessful attempts to cast spells. Why was the rug fake? I just see the main events held large crystals, film a diagram of a tower next to a quick sketch of a room in such a large. I wonder if that has to do with them, the, the hindry and crystals. Resurrection skull has been ripped to pieces. I'm guessing she was trying to resurrect her kid. Why turn my attention to something random like that? What the fuck's going on here? Is this because the chaos is is starting to prevail because the abyssal protection shield thing has gone down? Is that what this is trying to represent? Something about the strange place feels oppressive. The air is still and silent, yet you can hear the distant echoes of words, promise, uh, words, promises, and battle cries. You strain to hear what's being said, but you only make out a few words. Finally, cease, sorcerer. I promise. I promise. Can't be dismissed as a calculation error. You knew failure was a possibility. Then why? Why? Yes. It's decided. I will tell you the truth. Before we fight to the death. Would you like to know why I upended your life? This place is my demi-plane. I created it when I was a prisoner in Threshold. I would slip away to conduct my rituals here in secret. This is where I decided to create what mortals would later call the World Wound. This is where I made all my preparations. Do you understand? Escaping was never my goal. I could have easily disappeared from Threshold. 
I could have passed through it like water through sand, but that wasn't my goal. Some believe that I brought Sarkoris to ruin out of revenge, and I suppose there is some truth to that. I did have reason for revenge. You've been to this secret part of my laboratory and know what I'm talking about. Or at least you have an inkling. I mean, it's my laboratory. That is true. The old house in the middle of nowhere that marked the entrance to my lab. It was the home of Arilu Borlesh when she... When I was still a mere mortal. I lived there with my son, away from the din of the crowd, and sheltered from the keen gaze of the Sarkorian witch hunters. It was a place where the reality of our world was in close proximity to the Abyss, a place where I could study the magic forbidden to all Sarkorians. I thought I had hidden my home well, but I was wrong. They found it. They found us. At that hour, I was there in the laboratory. That damned laboratory I loved so much. I was absorbed in one of my experiments when the hunters arrived on our doorstep. I was sitting at my desk, recording my observations, thoughts, and calculations, as was my habit. That's when I heard the noise outside. The fight was brief. It barely lasted a moment. By the time I sensed that something was amiss and hurried out to see what was happening, it was too late. All I could do was cradle the body of my dead child and cry after their departing soul. I promise- Why am I using gender neutral terms specifically? Didn't she have a son? Why not say my son? It's your child seems so like cold. Maybe that's just because it's her. I am not concerned with whether it was justified or not, or with the application of morality, the law, or the teachings of any god. Look around you. This demi plane. The first time I escaped from my cell and ran here, I was trying to resurrect my son. I tried many things, but. All my efforts were in vain. The soul had already received Verasma's judgment and had been sent on the path determined by the gods into the abyss. Did your son do and when I realized that bad things? Not against my jailers. Not against those who had murdered my child. Not even against Sarkoris. My uprising was against destiny. Death and the laws that the gods had forced upon our lives. I realized then that I wouldn't be satisfied with simply returning my son to life. I had to shatter this order once and for all. And make it so that neither Phrasma and her lackeys, nor death itself, could ever stand between us. Only by stepping beyond the bounds of what had been ordained for mortal kind. By obtaining powers that rivaled the divine, could we become free. I wonder, did you find your son in the abyss? Because, like, if he's a soul god, does that make him a demon now? With this newfound purpose... I turned myself into a half-demon. Fusing the spiritual essence of the two planes was the only way I could achieve my goal. I let the abyss into my soul and into this world. I opened the world wound. <laughs> I danced around three demon lords, making them assist me without ever revealing my true intentions. They just believed they were dealing with another power-hungry mortal. But in reality, I was after one thing. I wanted to find what was left of my son's soul and give him a new birth. One that would prevent anything from ever harming him again. 
Is it is it suture? And then I found you. I chose you because I felt a faint affinity to you. I thought your oh. soul could accept the remains of my son's soul like the soil takes a seed. Why did you type accepts here? I thought I could bring back my child by tethering the mangled remnants of his soul to a pure mortal soul untouched by the abyss. I thought the power of the Nehendrian crystals would allow me to protect him forever. That I could tear him away from the dominion of mortal nature. But I was mistaken in both assumptions. Now I'm about to face the consequences of my mistake. You will witness them as well. Where's your son's soul? No, I didn't check. What is that demon thing? No, no. Is it like a cape? No. Is it like a... She gave it to me anyway, even though I told her to fuck off. But I don't actually know what she gave me. Right, because, um... Yeah, we still have a... No, wait, this is it. No, wait, no. Um, I don't know. It said she gave it to me anyway, and I don't know what happened to it. It said it was like an item. Right? Wrong? Oh, here we go. United States Ranger comes to transfer of several lying castle party members in the area. Zinzinbergle Bond, while under the effect of. Oh, this is it. I don't know. Is uh, Ariello in this this fight? Well, at least he did that spell on just one person. I don't know if he can do it twice. Oh, come on, Lan. You almost had it. You were on the verge of greatness. Probably, you know, not kill him before, you know. Ah, it wasn't actually that bad. Yeah, because he explodes with fire, and I was like, eh, maybe you should do that. You know, it's fine. We're all good. It is all fine, my dude. Prepare your 
Profane him. Guide my hand. Why is he concealed? Are you blinded? God damn it. Anybody else blinded? That is death store. Well. It's perfect because we have exactly one remove blindness. We'll get it after the uh, combat's over, though. I don't know why he was beating the shit out of, uh... You gain out, Reginald? Okay, that's all. Uh, just get one blast the full heals. Get those levels, eh? We can I'll take the final level in Angel. That's not me. I don't know why it's showing me. <laughs> uh, miss a melee attack. Eh, maybe. I do have a high melee attack damage. Uh, we don't do that. Shield focus mythic. Touch AC. Yeah, maybe. Maybe as well. The only thing is, right, so my strength is a plus four, so it's not, it's only just four damage per miss swing, which, to be fair, is more damage than normal, right? But, you know, the same rate. To hope guile, because you're willing to let me become immune to compulsion effects. Then spells. Hmm. Uh, I love your spells. I do. I do have two spells. It's almost some spots over here. Uh, another storm of justice.
Okay. Let's let the game. That doesn't make any sense. She doesn't use. Who fucking cares? Honestly, I don't know if it's randomly picking them or what the fuck's going on here. But that makes no sense as to why, you know, why that would ever be picked for her because she doesn't use melee attack weapons. Unless it means, you know, melee spell weapons as well, but, you know, like, for Reginald, it made sense. Also, land and Reginald, if you want. Spell slots, to be honest. I don't know what's longer there is in this game. To be honest, even if I did manage to beat it now, I don't know if it'd have a super long thing. I'm getting super fucking tired is the thing. Right, and I'm starting to teeter on consciousness. It's also using his fucking fists. What happened to his fucking sword? He had a fucking spear. I've got to fight it. There's no way this was a winnable fight. These two fucking losers can't take on two fucking one Balor, a bunch of mythic fucking regular demons. This is just unwinnable. I couldn't. I could barely fucking beat this guy legitimately. Like, what the fuck do you- It's unreasonable to think that I could beat him. Why did you attack him and not the-
Fuck those fucking Giliazantas, but you know. Where the fuck are you going, hand? What the fuck is that? I don't know what's going on over there. I genuinely don't even look over there. Just out of sight, out of mind. Honestly, I, I kind of want to just stop. Just because... I'm sorry. Who the fuck just died there? Who the fuck just explode? Whose dead body is that? I have to fight on their own though, lol. Like, what the fuck? These two weren't made for fighting. I'm pretty sure he's even his fucking spells prepped. No, he does. Should use that one. I don't know what I can spell these. Yeah, no, just killed my character in one fucking turn. Isn't that fun? Meanwhile, these fucking idiots are just all dying over here to the. One fucking demon. I never really feel as fine as a stop for the night, because, you know. This is ridiculous. I don't know. But the thing is, right, like, most of my party members died out of, you know, not even my fucking own fault. Wrong spell. By the way, they did 500 damage in that turn. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know what happened to, uh, Sasso's weapon. Gonna be honest. I, uh, don't know why they thought this would be a good idea. Considering that I would, of course, take the strongest fucking characters to fight with me. I haven't been equipping the majority of my other characters, so, you know, obviously they don't have any fucking health or anything. So... You know... I just feel like this was a poorly thought out fucking mechanic. Again. I need your assistance. Is she throwing rocks? Or oh, she's slinging stuff with her staff. Disintegrate. Go. Nope. Last stand, ah, I see. I need 
your assistance. That was my action. <laughs> He's walking around somewhere. Maybe he's lucky he'll interact with the rest of my fucking party. I like how my summons didn't do anything and fucking died, by the way. It doesn't matter, he's going to just immediately hit my characters. So, are they all dead now? I hate to fucking stop playing because I can't leave. Strike is one. Retreat is not an option. Apparently, for some reason, also, the spell which affects melee attack misses also affects range attack misses. Why the fuck is- You know what? I'm, uh, I'm done for the night. I'm starting to get a bit of a headache from my, uh, lack of sleep. But it's, like, it's, it's just like, I'm, I'm feeling, like, very, uh, fatigued. Right, you learn about this work. You learn about this work because it's important when you're a driver to know that. Oh, fuck off. That's a problem. Um, you know what? We can just load the auto the auto save last time after. Thank you for watching. Do the comments, subscribe, follow, and follow, uh, follow, and do that stuff. I'll follow on Twitch. It'll helps out. Um, something like that. I think. I don't remember. Tomorrow's Pokemon. Um, where I have well. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now. Thank you. Bye.